Hello everybody, I want to welcome you back to another video. Um, today we're going to be talking about the uh, lawnmowers. So, not sure how many people would be interested in this, but I'm going to make it anyway. So, um, it's a um, pretty miserable day out. Kind of rainy, everything's so soggy. Um, but it's trying to warm up. Grass is trying to grow, so we'll be needing these things for too long. And, you know, there might be a little bit of a topic of when do you just quit and buy a new one because you got to have a backup for your backup for your, because you got to have a backup for your main one and then you have a backup for your backup. You know how that goes. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll start here with this snapper. Um, it's a mid-90s model, which all of these are, I'm pretty sure. There's the model number. Um, originally is a 16 horsepower, 42 inch cut hydro. Um, now somebody swapped a 18 and a half Briggs into it. I reckon the 16 gave up the ghost. I wish the 16 was still in there because this one's not that great of an engine. It's not got that many hours on it and it's still like a smoke. So. What can you do about it? Um, and it don't run quite right for some reason, even though it's practically a brand new motor. Uh, as when it gets hot, it wants to not run at all. Yeah, if you're out mowing, it'll just quit, and then you gotta let it sit and cool down. So, don't know if that's a head gasket problem or if it's just something in there because it's got more sensors than I'm used to. Um, I need to get some lights for it. I, I never, I've never, I've never checked to see if the lights even work on this one. Um, it's got just about brand new tires all the way around. I'm pretty sure, but they look brand new anyway. And the battery's under that there. And there's the hydro lever. This thing needs a bath, but. Um, I guess we'll start off with the real bad with this one besides the because I can deal with that engine stuff but this right here is going to be a problem yeah that thing is just completely rotted out I mean I can shake that I'm pretty sure I could rip it out if I wanted um, and that has all just happened in three months of sitting over winter um, and that, folks, is why you keep your decks clean. Because it, it had just a little bitty hole at the size. Of, uh, um, about the size of that hole there, which the front of it's eight out two now. And it just spiraled out of control over winter. So I'm going to have to find a new deck for this because I don't think I can weld that as bad as it is. And that also brings up another problem because unlike either one of those, I do not have any parts mowers for this one. This one is, I guess I should probably try to find one, you know, to make, take two and make one maybe. Because this one's got some issues. Hood's been busted there and down here. So, yeah, probably. I need to find one that's, I guess, either has a bad transmission or a bad motor and just swap the tires and the, on to it, call it, a, in the, or something, you know, just make two, take two and make one. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at with that one. And the problem is, I don't know, I've never seen a deck for these come up for sale. I mean, you see other stuff, but I don't never see another one like this come up for sale. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. And when it, it starts and runs good, I'm, I can probably hit the key with it right now and it'll probably start if the battery's still um, charged. But yeah, I guess I'll move on to a little red here. And this one we've had for a long time. Um, and I have the most parts for this one. I have four frames and some motors and some rear ends sitting around so I can make a bunch and 
take all of them and make one good one probably because this one's got the best sheet metal of all of them so it's got a different engine in it than what it, this one came in it came with a 12 horsepower and it's now got a 12 and a half horsepower so big difference but the one that was in here has a broken governor i think because it wants to run just wide open so and yeah, you tell it's a little bit leaky but yeah if it's leaking oil it's got oil in it um you got a little you got the five speed and this thing right here just as simple as it gets and that's why i like it so much is because it's just simple um and don't worry the key does not work it, that key does not work it does not have a battery in it so it's literally froze just about I need to get a new I need to get a new key for it or i mean a new switch because i think if i had a battery and a new switch i think it would start on its own but i don't know but it does this motor right here has outlasted another mower we had one that it had that had no sheet metal on it and that's what that was in we mowed with it for years and then we got this one that's where we put the motor in it and it's finally starting to get tired um and i think i i, I got another starter i need to put on this one because it's got some cheap chip teeth and it don't spin as fast as it ought to but i mean it still starts and mows um Dicks and not that great a shape, but it's still better than that deck. Back trying to rain again. Um, yeah, I may, what I may do is I may just take the best parts off all of them and put it into this one. We did have to weld the nut on the transmission one time because the pulley broke itself free or something. I can't really remember. Tires aren't that good on this one, but. They hold air, so. I like it because it got that flat hood. Looks like you deep lunch on it. Um, but yeah. This one right here, this little Lowe's. Um, same engine as the little Murray. This one's a lot cheaper made, though. You can tell it just filling one to the other. It's the same engine less oil leak though i've been trying to get this one back running better because it kind of sputters and spits and mess after a little while so i think it acts like it runs out of gas so not sure probably made us go through and i think i need to just put a new fuel line on it and see if that helps the problem um put a different tank in it because this is not the right tank I think it's supposed to have a little bit bigger of a tank because that one's held in there by uh, fence wire. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But anyways, this one, I mean, it runs good. Don't, I mean, it smokes just a little bit, but you know, that's how they get. This one's got a bad front tire, but it still, it'll pump up but it, and hold air, but after about a day, it's dead. I mean, flat. It's got a seven speed transmission, forward and reverse. So seven speeds forward and four, seven speeds backwards. And this one would start with the key, I'm pretty sure, but it's got this absolutely tiny battery in it. All right, well, it used to have, it used to have a battery in it. We just took it out. I mean, that thing, is, I don't even remember how it goes in there because it has to sit right on the pulley about it, unless it, the rim of the battery sits there so you know not the best design but I'm sure it was cheap when it was brand new and that's why people bought them they made us another size I think it was a like a 14 horsepower it was a lot heavier built than this would like to find one of them but I'm not in the business of finding more on mores right now because I think we've got enough um, but yeah and I guess that's kind of one of those things where why spend the money trying to fix three when you can just, when you probably could sell all of them and all the parts mowers and just buy one brand new one. Or buy a, or you know, 
I could just fix up these Cub Cadets and not have to worry about it. But that's another story. Them things. I don't know if they know I'm not familiar with Kohlers or if they just don't like me. But I cannot never get them things to do what they're supposed to. So I'm not sure about them. I'll get them fixed one of these days. Just takes time and thinking and stuff. So. But yeah, that's how, about how that goes. Um, might crank up this one and we'll go look at another lawnmower. The Cocadet 1811. If this one will start. Because I've kind of come up with some plans for it. And uh, I might as well just start this one up and we'll go talk about it. That way this one will run a little bit. Let's see if we'll be camera shy. And hopefully I don't get rained on in the process. So. For this little 1811 here, I figured I'd get the man who purchased it on camera. He or, he knows more about it than I do, I think. So, uh, so you you can take it away from here. Okay. Um, 89 Cup Cadet 1811, at least I think it's 1989. Um, it's been trouble, to say the least. Let's go ahead and put this up. Um, well, it has a carburetor on it now. We had, okay. So basically, I'm going to try to get this done short. We took, I was going to start with, this is going to make a, um, a garden tractor. Like, plow, make this plow work, plow with it and everything. Well, um, before we got it, I was like, well, first, I was like, I didn't really notice. It also has, um, the, I think it has a 50 inch deck on it, which is the biggest one they offer, which I'm kind of surprised. Anyways, God is like, well, I mean, the tires were floated. It, had, it did have ag tires on it. Get it now on the 1,000. Those are the 1,000 limbs, too. And it'll be coming off. Put the ag tires back on this thing. If I'm correct, they're probably going to sell it because I'm. I'll tell you about that in a second. But we're going to take the. Um, I'm going put those. I'm going to take those, put, buy new ag tires for the 1,000. But use those rims because I won't try to keep the thing all over original. Original. Um. Well, set fancy um switch because this um deck this deck, deck switch don't work. We got it. Well, that's the original deck switch. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a replacement, I think. Well, I know, like this appears the original. If I had to guess. Well, maybe not. I don't. That looks like the original style. Yeah. I'm not sure. Could be. Could anyways, be a kill switch. Not too. <laughs> we never tried that out. Well, I never could get it to work, so. Probably messed up. And I never took and I never took the time to trace the wires either. Yeah. So. Anyways, um, saying, had governor issues. If you've seen the short of me driving it, when you come out here, um, we got back to twenty one fifty five, and uh, we're maybe we're maybe a little bit farther down. Um, it went um. I think what did it do? Almost cut off, and then I tried. Barely gave any throttle, and it revved up real high. I think it went, tried to go up, and you dropped the throttle down real quick, and it died, and so you jumped it back up, and it ran sky really? high. So then I cut it off. Um, I was like, well, so then I came out here. I was like, oh, I can fix that. I can fix that. That ain't easy. That ain't an issue. Governor gear is still intact, surprisingly. I figured take that off. It maybe. could. Well, it could. Even though the gear is intact, maybe the, I don't know how yeah. it works. There could be a shaft in there that's split or busted mm -hmm. or. But like, Gavin, and then, well, um, I had it. 
I got filming around, took the carburetor off. Try to get down in there. Oh, we're taking the can. I've already fully serviced this thing before that. Oh, I've fully serviced it too. Well. Besides the transmission. Every, everything yeah. else has been serviced. The whole engine has been serviced, which I probably should, which I really shouldn't have done. Until I figured I was getting running. Anyways. Um, well, the reason you did that is because you were planning to fix it. Gave it off to him. Well, Gavin was going to fix it up so maybe Dad could drive around at shows. Yeah, Gavin got to looking about um, how to fix the governor, how to rebuild it. Long story short, you had to take the apart the entire engine to get to the basically to take apart the entire engine just to rebuild the governor. So yeah, we thought about it. It's like go through probably a less expensive but long hard route that we have no idea what we're doing because this is a two cylinder engine. We have never even took apart an engine. Well, he might be in school. Anyways, we said, well, maybe we could put like a Kubota D, um, what is it? D600. D600 diesel, three cylinder. Well, that'd be expensive. Those are pretty good price if you've seen them on Yeah, I think I saw one for 1900 on for sale. I've seen them before go through for like a rebuilt one's like 3000 Yeah, the best. They're expensive. <laughs> Well, that that plan would have. No, I wouldn't have just bought the engine. I was gonna buy either a. I was gonna buy a Cub Cadet that had the, the engine already in it, but maybe had a bad transmission or was yeah. completely gutted electrically or something crazy, and just take the engine and all the mounting and put it in this one. That was the yeah. plan, but. Uh, anyways, this thing. Yeah. But I ain't got the time to fabricate or the know-how to fabricate the stuff that I might no, have to. we don't. So. We never would. And I ain't really got the space to do it either. We don't, because if you can see, just this tiny little shelter right here, really all the way, at least we really could put it in the shelter. But, like, our other shelter, it's already got, like, um, some other stuff in for poking in. It's like the 1282 and the cub is in there, which the cub's going to be moving moving in here so that's why this thing's actually gonna have to go out if you didn't they were also gonna um they decided they're gonna sell it but okay so here's basically the thing of it the rear end's good basically the frame everything else is good except the engine unless you want to take apart the engine have it a project tractor parts tractor that's pretty much what this one is because there's no chance to get this thing running right again without taking it apart so, yeah. And also, the deck is eat up with rust. There, the whole back ends will eat up with rust. The front end. <laughs> That's eat up, like this whole thing. Sometimes it's been repainted. I can guarantee if you just took a screwdriver and tacked on it, that just all around here will be tore up. You can look back here. The bolt over there has been rusted. This has been rusted out around the bolt. It won't even. It ain't even on anymore. It's all the way out of the bolt. Um, the lift does work good in it. Doesn't have any hydraulic issues with it. All it is is the engine. Transmission works good. All that. Then it also have to have two uh, two new front tires because those things are flat. Well, I mean they still. They, well, they will hold air. I mean. They're also very crafty. Yeah, but they will hold air. Yeah. Because they held air for up until it got real cold, and then that happened. Yeah. But, I mean, overall, it's still a... It could still be a pretty good mower. Just had to do some work on the engine. Specifically, mm -hmm. the governor. So, yeah. Yeah. Just we can move on to the other ones. Yeah. Unless you so, don't say anything else. Yeah, basically in short, I don't really have the desire to fix this one because I have plenty of other projects, as you can tell. And devoting the time it's going to take into this one, which is already, you know, it had some custom touches. Someone tells me they, they try to make a pulling tractor out of it. Yeah, and, like and what I what I imagine happened is somebody tried to make a pulling tractor out of it, hence the ag tires, and and the crazy decals and diamond tread. And they broke the governor trying to play with it or something. So, yeah. These things don't have, these things are known for the governor issues and sending rods. Yeah, so. What I've heard. I'd love to get it fixed up, but 
I would. I think it might be better to pass this on to someone who has more time and knowledge, yeah. or just someone that wants a, needs a parts tractor for their 1811, because yeah. it does have some good parts on it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's got straight sheet metal. I've got the side panels for it. Mm -hmm. The gas tank is clean, as far as I know. Yeah, it ain't. Um, I mean, I mean, look at the filters. You should be able to see if it's a dirty filter. Well, the filter is clean, so they, I mean. Yeah, they're all. The hydraulics are good. Everything yeah. on it is good except for the engine and the deck. Mm -hmm. So. But like if you need like the frame hydraulic system. It, so yeah, this would be a good candidate for a diesel conversion. Is yeah. What I'm getting at. Um, yeah, that's about it for this one. Um, if you if you might be interested in in it, just uh, let me know. It's we're um, just get in touch and we'll discuss uh, what we're asking for it we're gonna try to get out we we're gonna try to sell it for what we got in it which was fairly cheap so yeah. just um just let us know if you might be interested in it or might you know need a parts tractor so we'll move on to something else well we'll talk about this one now it is a 1971 international cub with the 60 inch woods moor deck um and so i'm and i'm throwing this in here just because of the moor deck it's got some rust problems that have started and I need and I'm going to get them fixed as soon as I can because I don't want the whole thing to get eat up like another mower we have. Um well two other mowers we have three other mowers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two cub cadets and a snapper. So yeah, we're gonna get that fixed up. I need I'm gonna try to take it off here. Um I'm gonna take it to the Sand Hill show um in Lillington. Um, next weekend, uh, March 15th and 16th, it'll probably be there just the 16th, but, uh, it'll be the, I'm taking it there, so I'm trying, I'm debating whether I should just go ahead and take the deck off and get started on it, or if I just leave it on there for the show, because it's not that good looking, even with the stuff cleaned off. So, that's basically where we're at with this one. It works good, and I want to paint it up and get it looking better, though, so, Yeah. We'll talk about this little thing here, <laughs> or not so little thing. Yeah. It's a 1982 Cub Cadet 1282. Oh. Um, has the 12 horsepower Kohler K301. You know, just your standard thing. It's kind of like a, uh, it, it's the same frame as a 682 and a 782. It just has a smaller engine. Is basically the only difference between it and a, I think it's a 782 that has, or maybe it's a 682 it's closer to, I'm not sure. But regardless, it's a nice original tractor. I think it, somebody went, I think the um, person before it did paint it, but it's not been changed much other than that. Here's some information under the hood. I've showed that a couple times on the channel. And basically nothing else has changed on this one since the last time you saw it. I just have not had time to get to it. I want to get it going for this to take it to some shows this year because it is in fairly decent shape. But I just am kind of, it's kind of a hard situation because, it, I mean, it runs good. Just doesn't run good for long. It acts like it starves itself of fuel. And I think that's because my fuel pump is, was trying to go out and it finally went out. Because last time I tried to mess with it, it ran good for probably 10 or 15 minutes. But then I got to moving it around and it, you know, kind of got to skipping a little bit. And I think my, pump, my fuel pump just is not pumping or was not pumping enough to deal with engine, uh, the governor, and the... Um, running it wide open and i don't think that my and i think it finally gave up because it i tested it and it was barely pushing any fuel out right here um it did push out some up here before and then it got where it was barely pushing it out here so i think that's what my problem is if you know where i can get a good fuel pump um just let me know because i'm not really sure i can find them for 25 dollars but I don't want to put one on here and then it go out in a week or a day because that seems to be how my luck is with parts here. Um, 
but yeah, that's about it with this one. It's mechanically sound if I never get it to run. Uh, my deck might be froze up on it because every either that or the engine just hasn't been running quite well enough to spin it. Um, which it has not been used in so long, it very well is froze, so. It's got 400 and something original hours, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can't really see the gauge, it's getting dark in here. But yeah. Um, new key switch, I, need, I do need to get a solenoid for it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to get on this project and get it done sooner rather than later. The points, oh, and by the, don't worry about the points cover being off. I have that for it, but a new set of points probably wouldn't be a bad idea because those are old. <laughs> yeah, they're original, so. But yeah, um, this is going to be the new mower if I can ever get it where it's reliable and running. This is what I'm going to use to mow the yard with, so. And compared to the lawnmowers you saw earlier, this is a tank. I mean, it amazes me how much heavier built these are than just a normal lawnmower. Well, except the 1,000. Well, the 1,000 is built heavier than a regular lawnmower, too. Yeah. I think it's built heavier than these, just being honest. Just I don't know, Carson. It's This one's built pretty heavy. Um... They've just kind of got a stance to them, and part of it is that they, yeah, and part of it is that they are considered a garden tractor because you, I've seen a couple of these with tillers on the back, um, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but I don't. I'd rather buy something else to um, make into a garden tractor. Especially being that it has a good deck on it. Yeah, right. The only one that doesn't. Yeah, this one's set in the woods for a couple of years, so. Yeah, and I've never got to clean it up, so I don't even know what it looks like, because I was, I haven't really, I mean, I haven't done the paint work, painting, I haven't cleaned up the paint yet, I've cleaned up the engine bay, but not the paint yet, and so one of these days when I can get it running good enough to pull it from here to there, and back again, you know, I, I will clean it up, because I think if I clean it up, I'm going to have a lot more desire to get it done, so. Yeah, every time I come out here and get on the cub, I look back at this thing thinking, I really need to get that done. So, it's nice that it still has the emblem in it, though, because I hear those like to fall out. So. Yeah, it's supposed to have one in the grill on it, but it's been repainted, too, so who knows. But, yeah. Um, and this was used by a church. It was what they mowed the yard with. Here you can see where it was sitting in the woods, that mossy mess. Yeah, a church used it to mow their yard, and I guess they didn't use it very long or something, so. But anyways, that's about all I got for this video. If you uh, liked the video, remember to like, share, and comment, um, and subscribe if you think you would like to if you aren't already and you think you would like to see what I do with this stuff. So, just want to thank you for watching and have a great day.